Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema Camp Productions, and in today's video, we are going to be going back to the video that I made yesterday. In yesterday's video, I showed you guys how to change your mouse cursor into like a downloadable thing that you just download and you can just install and you can just activate. Well, let's say you want to be really, really original and you actually want to make your own mouse cursor. You can now do that with this program called Real World Cursor Editor. I cannot say that without like slurring it. Sorry, I sound like a sound like a smart person um so yeah what you have to do is just click this download button right here and it will download just click keep it's not a virus i swear i've been using it for a while i'm not actually going to download it right now i'll go and cancel it because i've already downloaded it so once you do it just click on it and click next click agree next uh you don't have to support translations unless you're like a different language then you might want to and then just just me for now because you don't want to be taking up too much space and just click yes click close and there you go it is now installed you can now close out of your internet browser except for my video of course and once you're in here uh, by the way that will be in the description that link will be in the description once you're in here you just want to open up real world cursor editor now you'll notice that right here there's a bunch of introductions so if you want to quit out of my video right now and just learn how to use this thing feel free to do it, it you can just do whatever you want in here there's a bunch of plugins there's uh, media like you can download things there's a there's a bunch of things that you can do I'm going ahead and show you guys how to make one. So what you want to do is just go over here to create and a new mouse cursor. Just double click on it. And instantly you'll get greeted with a grid pad where you can just instantly just, you know, start to draw, do whatever you want. That can actually be your mouse cursor right there. That's what you'd see whenever you're just typing around or mousing around, I guess. But if you want to be really, really cool, you can click on this make arrow shape. And you can actually choose the type of arrow that you want. So let's say you wanted a cool arrow. Let's say you want an up left arrowhead size. I don't want my arrowhead to be too big, but I also want the tail to be a little bit longer. I want the outline color. You can actually change all these things. I'm going to change it to gray. Fill color. Let's change that to orange because, oh, that looks cool, actually. That looks really cool. That looks amazing. Holy crap. I don't like that, though. I do like it better. Okay. Click OK. And here is your mouse cursor. Now, you can actually just leave it at this if you want to. You can, you're, feel free just to leave it at this. You can just go in there, edit your own cursor, you're done. But if you want to, you know, edit it a little bit more, click on this little single pixel type of deal, and then you can edit each and every pixel like that. By the way, if you want to do, if you want to go back like I am, just click Control Z. I'm not going to edit this anymore because I actually like how this looks. But let's say I just want to make my own folder, okay? Let's say I want to make my own folder. I don't know if I can make a folder within this application. Um, oh, yes, I can. Okay. So we'll go ahead and head on over to, let's go up a level, and we'll go head on over to pictures, and we will make a new folder called CCP Mouse with a zero, apparently. That's cool. Mouse. So, yeah. I'm just going to name this, um, we're going to name this one normal. I'm going to be making a full cursor set, by the way, guys, if you guys are wondering. So this will be in the description for download if you want to. I do not want to select that too. Oh, my God. Normal.cur. Okay. So, okay. So there's your normal icon. So now if we click Control-S and we go to Mouse, or not Control-S, sorry, Windows-S, and we go to Pointers, and if we just go to this Normal Select, I'm actually going to select a different scheme so I don't mess up mine. So if we just go to Normal Select and click Browse, we go to our Libraries, Pictures, CCP mouse, we have our normal mouse right here. If we click apply, here is our mouse, guys. It's a little bit small. So let's say I want to change that a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this out of the way. I'm just going to put it down here. So we're going to actually open this one back up. And we want to make this a little bit bigger, don't we? So we can go ahead and actually just select this and make it bigger, like such. Now, if I just want to save, I can click this little save icon. I can go back into mouse properties. And I can browse, and I can click normal, and I can click apply, and boom, it changed a little bit. I can't, I can kind of tell the change. So yeah, there you go. Now let's say I want to make a complete mouse set. I'm gonna have to go back into my mouse settings, and I'm actually gonna to have to look at every single mouse icon, and I'm gonna have to make every single one of these. So, um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I am done making this entire thing. I will be right back.
Okay guys, I'm going a little bit over my file size than what I want to right now, so I'm actually just going to end off this episode right here. But I did start making it. Um, I'm going to time lapse this a little bit. Hopefully it looks all okay to you guys and you guys still like it. But I actually got the normal select, the help select, the working in background, and the busy. So let's go ahead and just demonstrate this. If I were to open up Vegas Pro, see it looks, see that little icon it's doing right now? That means it's working. And then you see right there, just ignore missing files. And here's my intro. So if I play this, yeah, there it is. So if I go ahead and close out of that, there you guys go. That's how you do it right there. If you guys were wondering how I, I think I demonstrated how to save, but if I didn't uh, file, just save as and choose what you want it to be. You can make an animation, um, cursor files. I, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do. I didn't really go over the animations. You're just going to have to fiddle around with those. Like you can make animated fire, obviously. You can make your actual mouse be on fire. Here, I'll demonstrate. You ready? File, save as. Fire crap. Look at this. You ready? Hold on. Mouse. Fire crap. All right, browse. Um, libraries, pictures, CC mouse. Fire crap. Apply. So as you guys can see now, my mouse might or might not be on fire. So yeah, uh, you can actually increase the speed of it, like... Um, wind intensity here it is see like the winds up higher wind direction so if you wanted to make it like cooler like that particle count turn down the particles for added uh, like for speeding up your computer a little bit particle size make it smaller bigger and part of long longevity sorry I can't English today just how long it is where it goes to and steps um, That's basically just that right there. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you guys give that like button a good old render. And if you really, really enjoyed, subscribe because it'll help me out in the long run. And, uh, yeah, guys, this is Jacob from Cinema Camp Productions. And, 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 I will talk to you all later. See you guys.